Well, today we're making a significant announcement regarding our Circle Square Ranch Camping Ministry, which has long been one of our crossroads outreaches to children and youth across Canada. So joining us now are three very special people. David Maines is, of course, our ministry founder and no stranger to our TV viewers. Don Simmons is our Crossroads Ministry Chairman and CEO. And we're pleased to also be joined by Jerry Rodman, President of InterVarsity Christian Fellowship. Welcome to all of you. Thank you. Now, Don, uh, a press release has just been gone out this morning from Crossroads. And so I, th I thought maybe as we start off this uh, time together, maybe you can just share with the viewers directly um, what is happening and then we'll have an opportunity to talk about it. Okay, and as I have shared with all of you before, at Crossroads we are partnering in new ways in order to strengthen and advance our ministry to those that need to know of God's love. In the fall we announced a partnership with the Salvation Army where we are working together to create a media-based Sunday School curriculum. And last month we announced a partnership with Comstar who operate two faith and values television stations in the United States. And today, I want to share our plans for a very exciting partnership with InterVarsity Christian Fellowship. On April 1st, Crossroads will entrust its Circle Square ranches to the leadership of InterVarsity. You've probably heard of InterVarsity's well-respected camps, known as Pioneer Camps, that have operated across Canada for more than 80 years. In fact, I was a Pioneer Camper myself back when I was just 10 years old. And of our four children, two went to Ontario Pioneer Camp and one to Circle Square Ranch. Now, although Crossroads will not continue to operate a national camping ministry, we remain absolutely committed to children's camping and to the strength of Circle Square Ranches in the future. I am thrilled to say that InterVarsity will faithfully carry on the legacy of the Circle Square Ranches and our national director, Bruce Mann, will join their team, as will our local camp directors and their key staff. Crossroads is transferring the ranches to InterVarsity without any financial compensation. Instead, we are entrusting them because we believe InterVarsity's specialization in camping will be able to take our camp ministry further than we can ourselves. And at Crossroads, we have the huge task of making a strong impact on children through the media. In fact, one of our top priorities is that of new programming for children and youth. InterVarsity's mission is to bring young people to Christ both through camp and on school campuses. And we like how they take care of their summer campers during the whole school year. And by adding our camps to theirs together, we will be able to achieve a higher level of excellence and ministry impact. 30 years of children's camping through Circle Square Ranches. 80 years of children's camping through Pioneer Camps. Ron, God has put together a strong partnership indeed. Absolutely, and, and this is a, a decision that uh, has been soaked in prayer, has been lots of, of, of thought and dialogue, but, but much prayer. And we know this is something that God wants for the, the future, for the strength of, of both organizations so that each can, can grow in the respective areas that God has called them to. And now, when we think of the, the legacy of Circle Square Ranches, uh, Dad, that, that's where um, we need to look to you to, uh, to just get your thoughts and as you reflect on, on the ministry in the early days and also what's happening now. Dad, what are your thoughts? It was back in 74 that we began a children's TV show called Circle Square. Uh, it was carried by all the major uh, television stations and networks across Canada. Uh, Marcy Ian of CTV News, <laughs> you know, Canada AM, was one of our original cast members. And uh, we just have uh, had such a response from children. In the first six months, there were over 50,000 letters from children into Circle Square ranches. I mean the Circle Square telecast. And uh, one day in Calgary, I was producing our weekly Crossroads program. And uh, I said, wouldn't it be great uh, if somebody would donate a property? And I read a letter from a little girl who said, Dear Circle Square, Mommy and I don't know where our daddy is. Can you help us find our daddy? And so I said, wouldn't it be fantastic if that that little girl could come to a place where she could find a, a surrogate daddy or somebody that could be like a daddy. 
Uh, and of course, uh, our first daddy out there was Gary Lefebvre of, of CFL football fame. And, uh, but the Doan family, uh, Phil and Jane Doan, donated the first property in Alberta. Phil was for about 10 years uh, the, the steer wrestling champion uh, of the country and also for some of those years in the United States. And uh, he, he, uh, he and Jane, Phil and Jane, are the uh, parents-in-law of Katrina LeMay Doan, uh, of you know, the gold medal fame in speed skating. And uh, they donated the very first property there and uh, we went to look at it, wouldn't accept, of course, a donation of a property until we were ready to develop it, had the funds lined up in order to do that. That wouldn't be right to accept a property and not be ready to roll with it. So that was the beginning, really, in the West and then one in the East here uh, that first summer. And uh, so uh, it's been going on since with about a quarter of a million young people through. And one of the things I just marvel at is that in the horsemanship program, I think of a quarter of a million uh, children and teens on horseback, and the most serious injury uh, did not happen during this. It was a broken ankle once. <laughs> I understand it was one of your inner varsity uh, right. <laughs> that, that, that jumped off the horse and, and broke yes, an ankle. Broken but ankle. of all the children and no injuries, that has to be God. I mean, what are the odds mm -hmm. of there not being any serious injuries on right. horseback through all those years. Uh, God has done that and I am excited about the developments because I see this as a way of expanding uh, the, the cause of Christ to the uh, children and the teenagers of, uh, of the country. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, Jerry Rodman, you're president of University Christian Fellowship. Now uh, many have heard of InterVarsity, but some may have not, and so right. maybe you, you could give us a sense of, uh, of what InterVarsity is all about, maybe some history. Well, our history starts back over 80 years ago hmm. with a young grad student who came from England, came over in a boat with $50 in his pocket and an invitation to start fellowships across the country. He started in, in Montreal, went all the way across the country in 1928 and came back to Toronto and realized that that it was growing on the university campuses, but there were all these young people in high schools, mm. grammar schools, that didn't know Jesus. Mm. And so he thought, great, let's take the university students and hook them up with these high school students and take them up north in the wilderness and camping. When he talked to uh, people that he was talking to in the churches, camping is such a critical thing in Canada mm. and being in the wilderness. So that's where our roots started in our camping, and it grew. So we started in Terra Pioneer at the same time as we started our campus ministry. And that we, every year, take thousands of children up north in an opportunity in the summer to have Bible study and uh, leader in training and introducing them to Jesus and growing them both physically, socially, mentally, and spiritually and really seeing transformed character. And that happens at our camps every year. And we're, you know, so excited about the, the joining of Circle Square Ranches and the synergy that can happen around the gospel with these young children. To actually see 10,000 young people come to know Jesus, grow in Him, develop in their leadership capacities, and become kingdom leaders. In the same time as we were considering this opportunity, we had just cast the vision of launching 20,000 extraordinary kingdom leaders in the next decade, which is, is a tremendous stretch for us. But we felt God really moved and came to us and said, this is what you need to do in a vacuum of leadership, Christian leadership in our country.